even though it's not going to be on my test. Okay? Let's do another problem of the ones I recently did 10 years ago. Calculate the Ka. Guys, you have a practice test or not? Mm -hmm. Did Mitch sent the practice test? Yeah. Did you guys meet up with Mitch on the weekend to study? We're going to meet up today. Why do you go no with that face? It's like, is that crazy something I'm asking? <laughs> I have come to school on a weekend. To, to, to teach other people, to teach students about my class in the past. So I took out of my time to help you guys. So some of you came. You know what time they came? 8 a.m. That's not you because you don't want to uh, do good things in life. You'd rather sleep and enjoy your weekend. Is that right? No sacrifice. You don't sleep in your house? What you do? Smoke weed all day? <laughs> Okay, so what do we have to do? Weak or strong acid? This is a weak acid. This is a carboxylic acid. This acid looks like this. This structure that you see here, carbon double bonded to an oxygen with an OH is called a carboxylic acid. Okay. Okay, and you have to know that. But this is for this chapter later on. This is called a carboxylic acid. Most carboxylic acids are weak acids. That acid happens to be formic acid. You ever heard of formic acid before? Yeah. Yeah. From where? Um, yeah. From what? You want to from drinking drinking methanol. methanol. You drink methanol and it blinds you. Yes, I said this before. But this acid is red ant venom. You ever gotten bitten by a red ant? Yeah. Hello? Yes. yes. If you haven't, I suggest you try it. You go to a red ant pile, they're on, like in parks and stuff, you look for one, and you stand on one for five minutes. You will never forget this event. <laughs> so, that's formic acid, that's what they put inside of you, not good, okay? So, it is a weak acid. How do you know this is a weak acid? Because it's not on the strong acid list, very good. So I am going to do what in order to find whatever I need to find? I am going to do a cold chart, yes? So cold, it is icy. So initial concentration of formic acid is 0 0.10. What's the initial concentration of H plus? Zero. Zero. How do you know it's zero? Because there is no other information written on the problem that says anything about H plus, could be HCl, could be something else. Any, do you have any of this? No. 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 The change for all reactants will always be minus, minus X. X. For all products will always be plus X. plus X and plus X. Taking into account the coefficient. 
we are lucky that the coefficient in front of this is a 1. I am going to write this plus this down here. Yes or no? Yep. Whoever does not know how to do a knife chart yet, you should fail my next test. I was wondering if you could just get the, if you could just find the uh, concentration based by the end of the tenth and then log the end. Yes. Right. That's right. Okay. So, now in order for me to find the Ka, what do I need? Ka expression, yes. Mm -hmm. Ka here is products divided by reactants. H plus is a product. That is another product divided by reactant, which is that. Yes or no? In order for me to find the Ka, I need to put in there what type of concentrations? Concentrations one, initial? Equilibrium. Concentrations at equilibrium. What that means is that I must find what X is. Yes? So I need a way to find X. In the last chapter, I gave you an equilibrium concentration of one of those. Mm -hmm. In this case, we have the same, but it's disguised, like a transformer. Yes? That is a disguise. pH, write this down. pH indicates, or pH provides equilibrium concentration. <coughs> Thank you. I'm allergic to students. <laughs> pH gives you or provides concentration of H plus at equilibrium. Can we use pH plus pOH to equal 14 and use a... Uh, no, not for this problem. Yeah. So is A thing different than pH? It's the same. Oh, okay. Yeah, the same. Gotcha. Equilibrium constant before was a general term for anything that is at equilibrium, yes? This is an acid. So it's Ka, equilibrium constant for the acid. If it's a base, it yeah. would be called Kb. So that pH is the uh, pH of the acid, uh, of the uh, H plus? Yeah, this is the pH, no, not the pH of the acid. This is the pH of this acid, okay. yes? And the pH is coming from this at equilibrium, so it's coming from X. Okay. So let's say uh, pH is equal to what? Negative log, Negative log of, H plus of H plus, okay? So I want H plus, yes? Mm -hmm. I got to get rid of this negative sign, so minus pH, log of H plus, so I got to get rid of this log thing, I do 10 to the, so I do it on both sides, 10 to the minus pH and H plus. This is what you need to know. I'm not going to ask you to derive this on the test, because this is an easy class, and you're not being challenged in this class, yes? So, if I give you the pH, what am I giving you? Concentration of H plus 1 at equilibrium, okay? That's what it is. I am going to do concentration of H plus. This happens to be at equilibrium. It's 10 to the minus pH. So, concentration of H plus is 10 to the minus, how much? 2.38. What's that number equal to? What? Guys, we don't trust them, so you got to do it. Four, four point, you said? Four point what? Times ten. Four point seventeen. Times four point seventeen? Times ten to the negative three. Three? Three, yeah. yeah. Times ten to the negative three, what? Huh? Molarity? How do you know it's molarity? Very good, it's concentration. Okay, so that's the concentration of H plus at equilibrium. Here's H plus, do you see it? Look here. Everybody look here. Is this H plus? Yeah. This is equilibrium concentration of H plus. So whatever I have here, it just happens to be X now. But it doesn't have to be X. It could be this, yes? Equal to a number. You solve for X. So this X is equal to 4.17 times 10 to the minus 3. That's what X is equal to. Here's another X. What's this number? Same thing. 4.17 times 10 to the minus 3. 
times 10 to the minus 3. And how about this one here? 0.10 minus 4.17 times 10 to the minus 3. What's that equal to? 9.6 or 9.58. 9.6, like that? Yes? Yes or no? What do I have now? I have equilibrium concentrations of all of these things. I am going to plug it in into the equilibrium constant expression. Yep. So, Ka is 4.8. 1, 7 times 10 to the minus 3. Some people like to say square. I don't like to say square because you, you robots are going to get used to saying square, square, square. But when it's not square, you're not going to know. So 4.17 times 10 to the minus 3 again because that's the concentration of that. That's the concentration of this. It will not be the same number forever. Divided by the concentration of? What's that equal to? 1.81. Units on this, molarity, yes? Units of molarity? No. No? Why not? Because equilibrium constants do not have units. We plug in things with units, yes? Yes or no? Yeah. This is a question he had a problem with. We plug in things with units, but everybody decided let's not give it units. How's that, guys? I'm just not sure how come you associated directly to H plus. Um, that's the only thing. Associated what to H plus? Um, like, you made the connection of negative log H plus. Um, and how the pH was associated directly to H plus. Yeah, it's probably because I didn't understand something previously. But yeah, it's because pH is negative log of H plus. Mm -hmm. That's what pH is. Yeah, but to know that you had to do um, the like to go and get that equation for H plus, you know what I mean? No, you didn't. It, this is how. This is a derivation. Yes, you have to remember. Mm -hmm. pH gives you concentration of H plus at equilibrium. All the time. Yes, all the time. Okay, so that's, and that's here's what I wasn't how. Sure. And here's the equation how. Okay. That is a derivation of how you get there. And so I'm not asking you to learn how to derive things in this class. Because, mainly because, you're mathematically this, Yeah, you're mathematically impaired. And this is not a challenging class, yes? This is a Mickey Mouse class. <laughs> all right. I have a question for you. Yes. Uh, yesterday in the lab, we were a bit confused and I was kind of lost because uh, we were doing something. In the lab? Which lab? Like, a, like a 1046 lab? Yeah. Okay. It's where I had a person reading. We're looking at PKA and how to determine from a graph of titration. Are we going to get there soon? <laughs> no. <laughs> Didn't your professor teach you that? No, we're computing this. Yeah. Huh? We're computing this. We have to get help from other students. But uh, you have a professor for that class, right? Yes or no? Yeah. Should have taken my class, man. It gets like this. I mean, you take it from a graph like this. You're doing titration of an amino acid, yes? Yes. This is the next chapter. Every time there is one of these things that goes up, there is an equivalence point in the middle of that. So this is an equivalence point. This is an equivalence point. In the case of an amino acid, this equivalence point here is called the isoelectric point. Okay. And it doesn't matter. If you look at the distance from here to the beginning of the graph, halfway in between here, it's pKa1, so it's the pKa of the first acidic proton. Yeah. And half the distance in the other place, from this point to this point, is pKa2. And pKa is what, guys? What does pKa mean? pK means the negative log of the Ka, yes? 
and the Ka is the equilibrium constant. Hello? Is that good enough? We're going to learn this, but not now. This is the next chapter. Write this down since he provoked it. <laughs> okay. The higher the Ka, the what the strength of the acid? No, no, I'm not asking you. Don't write that. I'm saying, I'm asking you a question. The higher the Ka, the what the strength of the acid? I confused you, okay? But the higher. The higher the Ka, the stronger the acid. Write that down. The higher or the bigger the Ka, the stronger the acid. How are pKa and Ka related? What's pKa? Negative log of Ka. Negative log of Ka. So, the lower the pKa, the stronger the acid. And if you take organic, you kind of have to know from what number to what number of pKa makes an acid strong, weak, moderate, not acidic. So basically, all pKa values possible, you've got to memorize them. But not in this class, because this is imaginary. Yeah? The higher the percent ionization, the stronger the acid. calculate percent ionization, yes? So let's say, new problem, calculate percent ionization for the previous problem. Fill in however many days we have missed. <laughs> so somebody look at a calendar. That's why I gave it to a girl because guys do not know what day of the week it is. And if you do, you're not well. But we are established you're not well. So how do we calculate percent ionization? By definition, what's the percent ionization of a strong acid? 100%. Percent ionization of a strong acid is? 100%. Write it down. So, percent ionization. And this is for an acid, but it doesn't have to be for an acid. This could be for anything, okay? It is the amount that has ionized. So, I'm going to say for an acid, it is the concentration of H plus at equilibrium divided by the initial concentration of the acid. And I'm going to write, that's the acid specifically for this, and I'm going to put a zero there that indicates initial. If it were a base, what would you write? One of the ions divided by whatever you started with, yes? students out. 
<laughs> Didn't find any of you. You're like, you're not studying for my class. <laughs> I have done that. <laughs> People I found at, the, at a club, let's say. It's an embarrassing moment. I was already kind of drunk. So I started asking a girl questions about the class. But I was drunk, so I didn't care. Alright, so percent ionization. What's percent ionization here? So, concentration of H plus at equilibrium, here's H plus, yes? Here's the equilibrium concentration, 4.17 times 10 to the minus 3, divided by initial concentration. Is this number, not this number, yes? Yes. Is this number, what is it? 0 0.10 times 100. What is it equal to? 1.17%? Who? <laughs> 4.17 percent. Very good. So it'll be the initial concentration of whatever is given, pretty much. Okay. What if they gave you two initial concentrations on the reactant side? So you, you, can't, both? No? you can't have two initial. If it's an acid, two, one will be the acid, the other one the base. Okay. So percent ionization of the acid is just a concentration of H plus at equilibrium divided by initial concentration of the acid. Yeah, uh, I know it's less than five percent. I noticed that it's less than five percent. So is that a result of the thermal or huh? The ionization here is less than five percent, but we still didn't ignore it. Though. We didn't ignore what? The X, the X part. You can't ignore the X. You're trying to find Ka. You never ignore the X in this case. You only ignore the X if you're trying to find X. And you don't ignore the X, you only ignore the change. If you ever have to ignore something, you cannot ignore this. You don't cannot ignore it. that. You can only ignore something that is changing. So you can say that 0 0.10 minus X is equal to 0 0.10. If it is set to the minus 4 or less. And the real thing is percent ionization. If the percent ionization is less than 5%, you can do this. If it's more than 5%, you cannot. Okay? Okay, guys. What else would you like? Huh? We did HCN, yes? Cyanide? Yep. And he asked me if it kills people. Who asked me if it kills people? Me. Sure. No, they ask if it's like a, uh, the deadliest, uh, deadliest substance known to man is a woman. Mm -hmm. also oh. Believe me, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, you want another problem? Mm -hmm. Let's do another problem. All these problems are very simple, yes? I do not understand people that don't get an A in this class. This is very simple. Okay, calculate the concentration of OH minus in a 0 0.15 molarity NH3 solution.
Guys, what do we have to do here? Hmm? We have to do an ice chart. How do you know it's an ice chart? Because which is a weak acid. No. I mean a weak base, I'm sorry. Okay, NH3 is not a weak acid, it's a weak base. How do you know? It's on the weak base list. Because it's on the weak base list. I didn't give you a long list. How many did I give you? No, I gave you strong bases five. I only gave you NH3? Okay, happened to be NH3, so that's good. It makes things easier for you. But let's say you don't know what it is. You look here, yes? NH3 on this side, and then on this side, what does it have? NH4 plus. So this did what? Accepted a proton. So this behaved like what? An acid or a base? It behaves like a base. And of course, what does it form? It does not increase the concentration of H+, plus. it increases the concentration of OH-. minus. So that is a base. So a base should have what? A KB. A base does not have a KA. A base has a KB. It could have a KA as well, by the way. How do you know this is a base if you had to guess? Because I told you that most nitrogen, not all, yes? Most nitrogen containing compounds are basic because of that lone pair. So we're going to do an ice chart. You try to do the ice chart. If you don't know how to do an ice chart, talk to your friend next to you. See if he or she knows how to do an ice chart. Where is Miss Rodriguez at? Hmm? Not here, huh? She's she sleeping. She wants to stay with me. She what? She wants to stay with me. Yeah. <laughs> I would too. <laughs> so we can solve for the concentration of the wage. Uh, minus given the K B right. Okay, look, let's add something to this problem. Calculate the concentration of OH and pH.
Okay, guys, initial concentration of NH3. 0 0.15. Yeah. Initial concentration of NH4. 0. Initial concentration of OH. 0. 0. There is a change here, it's always minus x. This change is always plus x, plus x. I add this and put it down here, 0 0.15 minus x, x, and x. Could not be simpler than that. What am I looking for? Am I looking for KB? Nope. No, we already have it. I am looking for the concentration, concentration of H plus at equilibrium. I still have to write it into the KB expression. It's an equilibrium expression, just like any one you had before. Products divided by reactants, yes or no? So NH4 plus times the concentration of OH minus divided by the concentration of NH3. Water is in there, okay? I wrote the net ionic equation. I should have written water, but that's okay. What else? What am I looking for now? Am I looking for this number? No. 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 I am looking for these numbers. And what I have are x's, yes? Mm -hmm. I have to plug them in. So 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5. Here's NH4. It is x. OH minus. It is another x. Divided by... 0 0.15 minus x. And when you get to this point, what do you notice? It's a very tiny KB. Yeah, you have to do the quadratic equation. If you know how to do the quadratic equation, you could just do the quadratic e equation. It always works. If you don't know how to do the quadratic equation, you use the five percent. What are you going to do? The square root of um, multiply and then square root. You are going to do the approximation, yeah? yeah. Because the quadratic equation takes a long time, and you should have been tested on that quadratic equation. How do you spell approximation? A P P R O X I M. Okay. It's approximation, and why do we make the approximation? Because the equilibrium constant, Kb, is small. 10 to the minus 5 is small. What that means is it goes forward a lot or little? Very little, yes? Yeah? So this number is going to be very little, which means that that number is not going to change by much. So the approximation says 0 0.15 minus x is more or less 0 0.15. And that will simplify the math. I mean, not like it wasn't simple before, but... So this is x squared divided by 0 0.15, and now you can do this problem, yes? Now you want to be a math genius. 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5, multiplied by 0 0.15. That gives you square root there, square root here. X is equal to what? 4.125. 4.1? Yeah, 4.1. 4.1 times? And you want the class to be more challenged, don't you? What? It's the calculator, huh? I know, it doesn't want to do what you asked it to do, huh? This guy, man. Crisis. What's it number? <laughs> <laughs> what? 1.6. Does that have units? Units, my friend. Concentration. Why don't you get 1.6, man? <laughs> you gotta sue, like. Yeah, That's gonna be horrible. I want to know how you did 1.6, uh, how you got 4. Point something, so I can write that answer choice on the test. So you don't feel frustrated, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I multiplied 0.15 minus uh, minus x by that number, and then I, I square rooted everything, and then I divided by I divided by the x. And that's how you got it. That's how you got it. Huh? That's all you got it. Divide by x? Yeah, divide by x. What's your value? After you square root. Or, I mean, you might have done. 
<laughs> Don't worry. It's too early, man. Don't worry. It's too early. <laughs> Guys, so what is this equilibrium concentration of what? OH minus. That's this number is X. Here's X, yes? That's the equilibrium concentration. So 1.6 times 10 to the minus 3 molarity is the equilibrium concentration of NH4 plus. Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Is that what we're looking for? Not really, but that's what it means. It is also equal to the equilibrium concentration of OH minus. That is what we're looking for. So there it is. And what else? I'm looking for pH. And pH is the negative log of H plus. Or I can say pH plus pOH is equal to 14. What do you want to do? I think the second one is the yeah. log. What do you like better? The second one. Like both? Okay, so let's try both because of your request, yes? So, concentration of H plus. Guys, you gotta, remember, you gotta know both of these, okay? Concentration of H plus times concentration of OH minus is 1.0 times 10 to the minus 10. I am looking for H plus. So, 1.0 times 10 to the minus 10 divided by concentration of OH minus. This is equal to. What's the concentration of OH minus? 1.6 times 10 to the minus 3. What's this equal to? Uh, 6.3 times 10 to the minus 12. 6.3 times 10 to the minus 12. Uh -huh. Does that have units? Uh, but, 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 yes, molarity. Units of molarity because this is concentration of H plus. I am looking for pH. So pH is the negative log of H plus. So the negative log of that number. What is it? 11. 11.0? 11.2. Do you still, did you look up how to do this? No. 11 point? Two. Mm, I see, so you just keep the decimal places. That's right. <laughs> so, we can do it another way. We could, we notice that this is concentration of OH minus, yes? You have a question? Yeah, I the NH4 plus and OH minus are equal to each other. Because here's NH4 oh, plus. X. That's X. Here's OH minus, that's another X. If the OH minus would have been 2X, then it would not be equal to it. You've got to multiply by two. So I can say or, notice that that's POH. I can get POH from that, which is a negative log of OH minus. I have OH minus. So the negative log of, what's the number? 1.6 times 10 to the minus 3. What does that give you? 2.79 or 2.8. You guys have some serious issues with this log things. Why? Because you don't know how many significant figures you got to keep. I don't know either, but then that's not my job, yes? My job is not to teach you math, my friends. So what else? That's a POH, yes? Am I looking for POH? No, I am looking for pH, which is 14 minus POH. Yes or no? So 14 minus 2.8 is? 11.3, yes? <laughs> Is that what you got? Or you got like 25.3? <laughs> no, I, what I did, I didn't, I didn't cancel out the X. So I got a completely different answer. If I did the same thing, I just didn't cancel out the X. Oh, okay. So that's what I You mean you didn't approximate it? Not I didn't cancel approximate. it out. You don't yeah. cancel it out. I didn't approximate it. Guys, you cannot cancel this out, yes? You cannot cancel that out. No, 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 no I didn't mean that. I mean, if, if you ever cancel this out in any class you're okay. in, you're in deep trouble. Okay. <laughs> I mean, like, you should go back to uh, kindergarten. Yeah. How's that, guys? You like that? Yeah, that's good. That's practice for the test on Thursday, yes? Yeah. No. It incorporates the same. This is the same as in your test. 
<laughs> it's not called KB, yes, it's called KEQ. Yes, do you have to do an ice chart? You have to do an ice chart. You have to find X, yeah. This is like the same thing. It's not? Okay, whatever you want. <laughs> um, initially, what I did, and it, it, it worked out better the way you did it, but um, what I did was I solved for it um, before you plugged in X and everything. I actually saw, solved for everything on uh, on the other side and put OH isolated. You know what I mean, um, at the first step, like I made 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5 in place of KB, and then I, I solved for OH. You know, that you can't because what you're trying to find is X and X is OH but it's also the other one so you can't solve for it because yeah. you need to find X so once you solve for it you still have to group them mm -hmm. I'm going to do it that way What else, guys? Anything else? No, Questions? No? All right. Let's confuse you a little bit, okay? If you weren't confused already, it's time for me to confuse you. You had not done something. Let me raise the other board. HCl, strong acid or weak acid? Strong acid. Strong acid. By definition, percent ionization of a strong acid is? 100%. Percent ionization of a strong acid is? 100%. What are the Ka's like of strong acids? Very, very high. Very, 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 very high. Okay? So high that, you know, they're not even recorded. But they do have Ka's. So very high. When this dissociates, it forms H plus and Cl minus. This is the conjugate base of that. Yes or no? Now the conjugate base of all strong acids is not basic. Is not basic? Yes. I should say the conjugate base of strong acids has a negligible basic properties. Do you know how to spell negligible? Yep. Yeah, I don't know. My attention deficit doesn't let me get past the G. <laughs> So, does Cl minus like to act like a base? No. No. Because it is coming from? An acid. A strong acid. Mm -hmm. Guys, you need to understand this. Any conjugate base that comes from a strong acid, is it basic, yes or no? No. No. Because? Say that word again, the negative. No, not because. Negligible is like a fancy way of saying not basic. And negligible means, does not mean not basic. It means basic no. properties are very small. So it's, it has more properties of an acid than a base? No, it's not basic. That's all I'm saying. It's not. Okay. It's not acidic either because it's, it's a minus. Okay? Yes or no? Look here. What's the conjugate base of this? F-minus. Conjugate base of this is F-minus. That is a conjugate base of a strong acid or a weak acid? Weak acid. A weak acid. So the conjugate base of a weak acid is basic.
So here's the conjugate base of strong acid. Is it acidic, basic or neutral? Neutral. Hello? The conjugate base of a strong acid. Is it acidic, basic or neutral? Neutral. It's not acidic. You can tell it's not acidic. It doesn't even have an H plus, yes? But you also know it's not basic. Because it comes from something strong. So we're going to say that this is neutral. We're going to say it has negligible basic properties. So we're going to say not basic. But there's degrees to this, yes? What does not strong mean? No. If somebody if somebody tells you, hey, you're not strong, what does that mean? Weak. What yeah, but what does that mean? Hello? Has everyone ever told you you are weak? No. Like you're weak minded, yes? You gotta resort to weed to fix your problems. <laughs> okay? Uh, when somebody tells you you are weak, there's degrees to this weakness, yes? Maybe an old lady is weak, she can't walk around, yes? But when someone tells you you're weak, do they refer to you not being able to walk around? No, maybe they refer to you not being able to lift 100 pounds, yes? But if you compare your weakness to the old lady, then you are what? You are strong. So this is a comparison, okay? So the conjugate base of this, and we're going to do the comparison now. Not yet, okay? The conjugate base of this, because this is not strong, it is basic. basic. It is basic. Yes or no? The conjugate base of things that are weak are? Basic or acidic? It depends, right? The conjugate base of an acid. But if the, it's the conjugate base of a weak, I mean the conjugate acid of a weak base would be? Acidic. I told you you'd be confused, and we're not even halfway done. Okay, now, I have a question. Why is HF weak where all the other halogen acids are strong? Man, I already explained this a whole bunch of times. You still don't remember? You don't remember the picture I drew of the loops? You don't remember? Damn. Distances between the nucleus. I mean, it's just an unforgettable thing. <laughs> I'll never forget it. I mean, here you go. You like this? <laughs> no, no, no. Close. <laughs> It's not more round. Yeah. No, it's not like that. <laughs> there you go. That or this? What do you like better? <laughs> I mean, this is, this is bad here. The distance between here and here, this is called Coulomb's Law, yes? Yes? Coulomb. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the name is. You guys can spell it. You took the color, yes? Yeah? Yes or no? Who? C O O L O M. It sounds a little weird, doesn't it? <laughs> so, the further the nucleus are from each other, the weaker the bond. Yes? And I gave the example of your girlfriend living in Canada, yes? Not good for the relationship, it's weak because you're far away. So, this is closer, yes? HF is here. HF is small and is hard, so they're closer together. HBr, HCl, they are bigger, so the bond is weaker. And this is called bond length, yes? As you learned in 1045, the longer the bond length, the weaker the bond. And the shorter, the stronger the bond. Yes or no? Mm -hmm. And I hope I don't have to do this again. So HF is a weak acid. Why is it a weak acid? Because the bond is strong. And why is a bond strong? Because it's shorter. And why is the bond shorter? Because fluorine is small. Yes? And why is fluorine small? Because God made them that way. It's the way it is. Somebody had to be small. Right? 
So the conjugate base of a strong acid is neutral or not basic or negligible basic properties. And the conjugate base of a weak acid is basic. basic. Here is sodium hydroxide. Yes, this breaks down into Na plus and Na OH minus. Plus and OH minus. Na plus is coming from what? Na plus is the what of this? Conjugate acid. This, you can call it conjugate yeah. acid, yeah. But is it acidic, basic, or neutral? It is neutral because it is a group one cation. So you write it down. Because it's a conjugate acid, a conjugate acid of a strong base. Yes or no? Yep. Conjugate acid of NH3 is NH4 plus. Is that acidic, basic, or neutral? It is a conjugate what? It is a conjugate acid. If it is going to be anything, what is it going to be? It is either going to be acidic or neutral. It's not going to be basic because it's coming from a base. And a base does not give you another base. A base gives you conjugate acid. So, is this base strong or weak? It is weak. So whatever comes from it has to be whatever it is. If it's a base, that will be acidic, yes? So the conjugate acid of a weak base is acidic. Yeah. Why is um, sodium conjugate acid again? It's because things break into positively charged and negatively charged, yes? The negatively charged is the basic part, and the positively charged is the acidic part. And why is it neutral? Because it's, because it's group one cation. Whenever you, whenever you make a group one cation attached to anything else, it will always dissociate 100%, like solubility rules. But if you had, for example, magnesium hydroxide, you would separate and become Sometimes it will be, but not with magnesium, but something else I'm going to explain later. Mm -hmm. Yes. Guys, yes or no? Okay. So I'm going to ask you a question, you answer. The conjugate base of a strong acid is <laughs> neutral, not basic, yes? Conjugate base of a strong acid. The conjugate base of a weak acid is? Basic, because it's coming from something weak. What if you have two weak things? One will be weaker than the other, yes? The old lady and you. But let's say I have an acid, and the pKa determines the strength of an acid, yes? Let's say I have an acid with a, let's say the acid is HX, with a pKa of five, and I have an acid HY with a pKa of 9. I want you to write down or draw or whatever it is the conjugate base of those and tell me which one is a stronger base. today is on the test on Thursday. But you could you could have used the ice chart for the test. This is absolutely not used at all. Why you're trying not to look at it? You're trying not to and also I can focus more on where it's gonna be in the test. Yeah. Test is and watch the video. Yeah watch the video.
you post on the shop in the area? Yeah, right in. What? Where do I post them? Yeah. Can Academy. A guy gets paid millions of dollars, yes, and he's crap. Maybe you could do a better job. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, if you did it better, you could get paid more than him, right? I wish. What did you say? Oh, you didn't say anything. He said, where are you post the videos? Man. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I posted. Yesterday. Yesterday. It only takes like six to eight hours for me to post them videos, guys. <laughs> I don't know if you understand what I mean. Okay, and so I, I can't use my computer during that time. And what kind of computer do I have? The kind of computer I built. You want to know the specs? Mine beats yours for sure, man. For sure it does. Hundred percent guarantee. <laughs> I'm dying to compete. My kid? Yeah, my computer. No, I can't. Man. What computer do you have? Because you can't spend more money than I spend on that processor. Is that most expensive processor? Anyway, uh, what's the conjugate base of this? X minus. X minus is the conjugate base. Yes or no? Mm -hmm. yep. What's the conjugate base of this? X minus. Conjugate base of H Y is? Y minus. Y minus. Very good. Which of those two is more basic? Mm -hmm. Which of those two is a stronger base? Mm -hmm. Y minus. Y minus is a stronger base. Why is Y minus a stronger base? Is the PK is a weaker acid. Okay, that's right. This is a stronger acid than this is. Mm -hmm. How do you know? Because the lower the pKa, the stronger the acid. So this is a stronger acid. So the stronger acid will have the weaker conjugate base. This is a weaker acid. It will have the stronger conjugate base. So I am saying here, stronger conjugate base. Am I saying that this base is strong? No. no. No, I am saying it is stronger than the comparison. I'm not saying it's strong. So I'm going to say stronger conjugate base because it comes from a weaker acid. Weaker acid. Very good. If you take organic, that is like in the class all throughout. You're not going to remember for that class. I don't know if I wrote this equation before, but Ka times Kd is 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14. Did I write that before? No. This is for the conjugate acid base pair. This is for the conjugate acid base pair. This is not for two different acids and bases. This is for, if this is a weak acid, that will be its conjugate base. If you have a base, then this will be for the conjugate acid. Yes or no? I'll give you one of them, and I will ask you for the other. Okay? So I will give you the Ka and ask you for the KB. Or I give you the KB and ask you for the KA. Okay? Remind me to do a problem like that next class. That's negative 14? Yeah, same as same as before. KW. Is that a constant? Yeah, it's a constant. Now, as a measure of strength of an acid, why would you want to use PKA instead of pH? Because the pH is a measurement of how much it has ionized in water. So you've got to have it in water to measure pH. Are 
Do you understand? But isn't that also true for pKa? No. pKa is a negative log of the Ka, which is the acid dissociation constant, or Ka. Mm. It has nothing to do with dissolving it anywhere. Well, like which one's better, like the pKa or just or Ka? Well, it's not that it, one is better than the other, it's that one is more frequently used than the other. Yeah. Because the pKa has numbers like 5.3, 15, 16, 25, 35, easy numbers. The other ones are, what would you rather use, a 5 or 10 to the, 1.0 times 10 to the minus 5. Okay. 5 is better. That's why that exists, okay. to make it easier. If you take organic, it's only pKa tables. There's no Ka tables. Okay, let's talk about what makes an acid an acid. There are two things that make an acid. First, but not the most important, electronegativity difference. And the second conjugate stability of the conjugate base, or conjugate base stability. We're talking about an acid, yes? Careful. Huh? Don't trip, don't trip. This is yours? Yeah, I just fell. You just threw it there for me to fall? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. here is which one is a stronger acid and the reason which one is a stronger acid H2O or HF? HF. HF. How do you know HF is stronger acid? 1045. 1045? Yeah. There's a greater difference in electronegativity. Okay. Yeah. Because there is a difference in electronegativity. Now you want the acid. This is how it looks, yes? In order for this to become an acid, what does this have to be? Plus or minus? Plus. This has to be plus, yes? Mm -hmm. Delta plus, while well, this is delta minus. Whenever you separate this charge, it will be a stronger acid. So the larger the electronegativity difference, the stronger the acid or the more acidic. Now, you can only compare those on the same period of the periodic table. Same period. F and oxygen is on the same period, yes or no? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Same period. So, which one is a stronger acid? CH4 plus or H2O? H2O. H2O is a stronger acid. How do you know? Because of a difference in electronegativity between oxygen and hydrogen versus carbon and hydrogen. What is the difference in electronegativity between carbon and hydrogen? 0 0.4, yes? What's the difference in electronegativity between those two? I don't remember the value. You don't remember? All right, that's cool. Don't worry about it. So electronegativity in the periodic table increases that way, and it increases this way. This is electronegativity. And I am telling you that for the strength of these acids, you are only going to use electronegativity increasing across a period. Okay. If it's in a group, it's different. It's not electronegativity. Is that clear? You can only compare 
electronegativity differences if they are in the same period. Okay? I mean, I will give you the same period. You, you don't have to, but. And conjugate base stability. Conjugate base stability is, so this is within a period, and this is within a group. Which one is a stronger acid, HI or HCl? They're both what type of acids? Strong. They're both strong acids, but one of them is stronger, yes? Which one is stronger acid? HCl has a larger difference in electronegativity, yes? Yeah. But it's not the stronger acid because they are not in the same period. They are in the same group. And when they are in the same group, it's about conjugate base stability. So, these in the same period or same group? Hello? Same group. If they are in the same group, it's about stability of the conjugate base. The conjugate base of HI is I minus. The conjugate base of CHCl is Cl minus. Now, if you had $10 and someone gave you $1, would that be a big deal? Hello? If you had $10, someone gave you $1, would that be a big deal? No? <laughs> so, if you had $10, someone gave you $1 more, it's not a big difference between 10 and 11? Let's say you had $1 million and someone gave you one more dollar, which one would there be a difference in that is big? And the ten dollars, you get one more dollar. I know you guys are rich, so ten dollars to you is nothing, and one dollar is nothing, yes? So if you had a million dollars in your pocket, and someone comes to you, hey, here's a dollar for you, would you go, no, nah, I don't need that. <laughs> Tell me the truth. Yeah, don't you go like that? I'd give him a, If you had a Taco Bell with one dollar, someone gave you another dollar, would that be a big difference? Yeah. 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 <laughs> you can buy two hard tacos now, yes, instead of one. Okay. So, who cares less about the electron that is being added? This one that has less electrons or this one that has a ton of electrons? This cares less about this negative charge because this has a ton of electrons and it's just one more, right? Who cares? And if you have this, then one electron means more. So the lower you are in the group, the more stable the conjugate base. So this is about size. The lower you are, the bigger you are, and the same within the same group, yes? The lower you are, the bigger you are, and the more stable you are. Well, not you, but the conjugate, you get it, right? What about something that's on your thing? Then you can't do it. Not, not with what I'm teaching you, you can't. But maybe I give you that question on the test and just call it a challenging question, yes? The one you can't do. Because that's what we call challenge, yes, when you can't do it. So which one is a stronger acid? HI. HI. Stronger acid. Why is this stronger acid? More stable. More stable conjugate, conjugate base. How do you know this is more stable? More lower, not electronegativity, lower in the periodic table. Bigger the size. It better accommodates that negative charge. Yes or no? Sounds good, yeah. You like that? What's more acidic? Now, I'm, not, I'm writing this underneath this, but this is, I already explained it, it's different. It could be this or it could be the other one. What is it? Which one is a stronger acid, H2O or H2S? How do you know H2S is a stronger acid? Are they both in the same period? Same group. Or in the same group. 
they are in the same group. If they are in the same group, this must be about what? Conjugate base stability, which means that the lower one in, in the group will be the more acidic. So this is stronger acid. Am I saying this is strong acid? No. no. I'm saying this is stronger than that, yes? I'm not saying this strong. It's stronger than that. This has a higher difference in electronegativity, does it not? Yes. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. But this is not more acidic because stability of the conjugate base is more important. So let's say I have this here. Which one is the most acidic proton from there? This is one molecule, this is drinking alcohol, right? Which one is the most acidic proton from there? The one on the O. Hello? The one on the O. The one on the O? Why? Because there's a bigger difference in electronegativity between that. And why are you comparing electronegativity for that? Because they are in the same, no, you were fine. Because they are in the same period. They are in the same period. So you look at this bond here. This is carbon hydrogen, this is carbon hydrogen. And this is oxygen hydrogen. That oxygen and this carbon are in the same period. So this is about difference in electronegativity. This has a larger partial positive, so this is, this proton here is more acidic. Yes or no? Which proton is the most acidic from there? From here. I mean the same. This is a carbon here, my friends. Can you not see this is a carbon? Carbon. Carbon hydrogen, this is oxygen hydrogen. What do you mean the same? Oh, the same oxygen hydrogen. Oh, okay, good. Oh, so that seems simple to you, huh? Let me give you a challenging question. Which means? No, okay, but some of you think there is. I don't think there is, but... That's the challenging question is when you can't do it, yes? How much you bet you get this one wrong? I give that question on our organic exam, which I gave one last week for this survey of organic class. And most of the class got it wrong even after I explained it. And even after they took 1046. It's a disappointment. From those two, which one is more acidic? At what time is this class over? 40, right? Who has the attendance? Which one is more acidic, guys? No, it's the second one. The second one. You mean the right on the right or the left? The one on the right. This is more acidic? Yes. Yeah. This is more acidic. I told you you're going to get it wrong. If you know you're going to get it wrong, then choose the one that you are trying to choose. Choose the other one, yes? <laughs> it's because where is the acidic proton at? Where is it at? The acidic proton. Is it this one? No. no. The acidic proton is this one. And the acidic proton is this one. If you form the conjugate base of this, will be O minus, right? And the conjugate base of that will be still O minus. Yes or no? Okay. They're still on the oxygen. So is it about conjugate base stability? No. Because they're both the same conjugate base. So the effect is over a distance. 
and when the effect is over a distance, it's about electronegativity. It's called inductive effect. Which one is more electronegative, the fluorine or the iodine? Fluorine. The fluorine is more electronegative. So over a distance, it has a larger effect, and it's about based on electronegativity. This is more electronegative. What that means is, look what it means. This fluorine wants electrons, yes or no? Mm -hmm. And it will take them from this carbon. And this carbon now has less electrons, which will take some electrons from this carbon, mm -hmm. which will take some electrons from here, which will take some electrons from here, which will make that a larger partial positive than with this one that does not take them that much. Yes or no? Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's do two more. Which one is a stronger acid? This one with an F or that one with the F? Hello? Which one is a stronger acid? This one or this one? This one is a stronger yeah, acid yeah. because the fluorine is closer to this than on this one. This one is one, two carbons away from it, and here is just one carbon away from it. Okay. So it is closer. Yes or no? Which one of those stores is stronger acid? It's time to go, isn't it? Which of those two is stronger acid? HBRO. HBRO or HCLO? Maybe I should draw the structure, yes? The structure is like this. Which one is a stronger acid? HCl. Oh. Hello? HCl. Which one is a stronger acid? This one is stronger acid. Because the conjugate base here is the same, yes? It is over a distance, the chlorine and the bromine. Yeah, this is bigger. If the hydrogen were attached to this, this would be more acidic. But the hydrogen is not attached to the bromine. The hydrogen is attached to the oxygen, which is the same in both. So it must be about electronegativity. That is more acidic. How about these two? HClO3 or HClO2? Which one is more acidic? HClO3 is more acidic because you have more oxygens. And what are the oxygens doing? Getting Withdrawing more electron density. Three oxygens is a larger effect than two oxygens. So more acidic. The more oxygens, the more acidic. Okay, guys, good luck on Thursday.